Hello and welcome back everybody. Alice and I are gonna head out to the garden and we're gonna pull a harvest of some artichokes. Come along. Um, let's go and harvest the artichoke. That one looks good right there. Alice is gonna do the honors. So before you harvest, this is the absolute perfect point at which to harvest the artichoke. The petals are just starting to open up, but the center is still pretty tight. Perfect. Nice. Yep, that's a good one. Oops. We got, we have to get only five, just you and me. I am here in the plantation of artichoke, and now I am happy to harvest. We're gonna eat for tonight. I see it in the store. Two for six dollars. So it means three dollars each. And I bet they didn't say organic. Yeah, and this one is organic and what? Fresh. Homegrown. Homegrown. Yeah, fresh as could be. Uh, fresh from the garden. Organic and free. Hey, you, you harvest them and you cook them five minutes later. Yeah, and free. Yep. I started with just two plants, guys. Now, artichokes are easily grown from seed, but I picked up a couple transplants that were about six, eight inches tall, and all the artichokes growing in the garden now were all grown from the pups, the little baby plants that grow at the base of the artichoke, which is a perennial. And we've got dozens of these plants now. Thumbnail. <laughs> Then I have to transplant. Here's a good one. Where? Over here. Where? One more. I am hyper. Hey, oh. look, this little baby cherry tree does have some cherries on it. Yeah, finally. I have to wait that one and eat. So, so, I am here. Alice is cold. <laughs> look at all the great bunches starting to form. Very nice, huh? So the way you harvest is you have to hold over here and then it's slightly slant. Mm. You have to hold like that. Ow, 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 ow. And These ones still harvestable but opened up a little bit more than what I'm looking for. So we'll let these go to bloom. So for the one, beautiful blooms that the bees like. This one is enough for tonight. And over here too. You know, you can eat the strawberry greens. The little that top. That one is for you. The top, honey? Yeah. I always eat that when it's homegrown. It. But. Cheers. Cheers. Eat over here. We'll save this one for another night. Yeah. And some of the others. Next week. Yep. Well, not next week. Maybe in the next couple days. Yeah. They're perfect right now. Um, what did we get? Just only five. I'm gonna eat two. You have three. Oh, you get the two big ones? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so we're off to the kitchen now. We're making dinner, so I guess I'll bring you guys along and show you how I prepare the artichokes. Very easy to do. Stay tuned. So steaming up some artichokes is one of the easiest things you can do. First step is to give these a quick rinse, pull back the petals a bit, see if there's any bugs in there to get out. These ones look nice and clean for the most part. So a quick rinse and then in the pot they'll go.
Now all you need to do is place these upside down like so. Looks like we're only going to be able to get four in the pot this time. Now we're just going to add some water. We're going to be turning this on high, so you want to add enough water that it can steam for about a half an hour. So about an inch and a half. Now I'm going to check on this during the cooking process to make sure that we've still got enough water in there and it didn't completely evaporate. If it's getting really low, just lift the lid, add a little bit more water in. Then optionally, you can add in a little bit of salt. I'm just putting in some Himalayan salt. Then we'll just throw the lid on and turn the oven on high. Set the timer for 30 minutes. And that's it. So other than just keeping an eye on the water level, there's nothing else you got to do here. Half an hour, these will be good to go. And check out this pile of tree kale and tree collards the wife harvested a little earlier. We're going to be cooking those up as well, not in this pan, but that's just going to sit there for now. So when these are about done, I'll check back in with you guys and show you the results. All right, 30 minutes is up. You can see we still got a little water left in there. Just perfect. Now a couple ways you can test for doneness. One would be to stick a fork towards the middle. Make sure it's soft. But the easiest way to check for doneness is just to pull one of the petals off. It should just fall right off. You should be able to smell it as well, like a cooked artichoke. Mm, Good I, miss that. I want to eat more. Now once you've eaten all the petals, here's the best part, the heart. So we're just going to cut this in half and what you want to do is remove this fibrous material here. This is known as the choke and it will make you choke. And it's okay if there's a couple little hairs there. Artichokes are high in antioxidants as well so enjoy them and get healthy in the process. But that's going to wrap up this video guys. Thanks for watching. I'll show you the greens we're cooking up here too. And now for the main course.